Hiya! I'm going to show you how I do a blush in Photoshop on digital illustrations, or you could do this with painting depending on your style. First thing you're going to need is uh, more or less your character done. Uh, I've got a lot of extras I can take off if they're going to be distracting. So once you have your character at least partially colored, you're going to need at least a base color before you can really see how this works. Create a new layer over anything where your character is. So like for instance, I have these petals uh, and this blowout, so I don't want my layer over them. So just over the uh, character stuff, I'll, I'll do it over the highlight, which is like the highlights of the eyes. I'm going to make a new layer, and there's two ways to do this. You can put it down here, it says create new layer, little button there, or you can hit command shift N or the windows equivalent, and I'll just call this layer blush. After you've created your new layer, go to the blending modes, which is right here under layer. It's currently on normal and you're going to change that to multiply. It's just a couple down. It says multiply right there. Now we want to change our brush settings. And by the way, I'm using the soft round pressure size. It, there, there's a bunch of default ones, but you'll want um, your hardness all the way to soft. And I'm going to use a round one, but I suppose you could use any one you want. <laughs> and then I'm going to turn my opacity down to something like 20. And then finally, I'm going to pick the blush color. If you have like normal human skin from light to dark, you'll want to pick uh, pinkish. If you have alien skin, you might need to pick something else, but we're going to pick a pinkish color right about here. This will be good. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to blow up my brush to a pretty big size. I'm using the bracket keys on the keyboard, but you can, you know, bring up this little right click menu and mess around there. OK, so now that this is on multiply, I'm also going to do one last thing. You don't have to do this. You can erase the parts you don't want the blush to be later. But for now, I'm just going to select the area um, that I want it. And then I'm going to go back to my blush layer. This way it won't go onto the hair and stuff, although it's not a really, it's not a big deal if it does. So now that we have these, this ginormous brush on light, we're going to apply it. <laughs> I'll just do a streak across her cheeks for now. It doesn't show up much, but I'm of kind of the opinion that you should build it up. Unless you want very hard, strict lines, you'll just kind of want to go slow and easy, turn your brush size down, and we'll work on some here, on the corners here. We're going to make her really blushy. And then we'll maybe do one more across the nose here, one or two. Uh, yeah, and then we'll just have her blushing. It's pretty easy. That's about it. And then maybe a little bit up here and a little tiny bit on her neck. Yeah, I'll deselect that and I'll show you before the blush and after the blush. And I know I went a little bit, <laughs> a little bit extreme, but I wanted to show it off. And we could do her nose and stuff too a little bit. A little blush on her nose. Okay, so that's about it. It's pretty simple. Let's do one more. I'm going to hide this current blush layer. I'm going to make another layer. Uh, I'll call it flush and I'll misspell it with a G, but I'm not going to fix it. <laughs> I'm trying to type with my pen in my hand. And then we're going to pick up her skin tone instead this time. And then we're going to set it to multiply like last time. I'm going to do the same thing where I select just the skin so it won't get up the hair. Go back to my flush layer or my fluge layer. <laughs> and with her skin tone, I'm just going to pick up about her skin tones, just that pale one there. I'm going to go through and add a flush instead. And you can do this if you want your characters to look a little more masculine, but still have kind of a, you know, a healthy glowy look. Yeah. So we're just going to add this here. It's a lot more subtle and oftentimes after I do this, I will add like a little bit of highlights to the cheeks, but uh, that was before and that's after just adding a little bit of a flush and go a little bit stronger here. Let's add a little bit of a smaller ring across and then darken the sides of her cheeks like we did. And you can even go a little darker towards the very dark cheeks by picking up a darker color. So that's without anything that's with the flush. And that's with the blush. One last little thing I might talk about is if, again, you went into any areas that you didn't want, you take your eraser and erase them so like her eyes don't have that reddish color there. All right, so I added a little highlight to kind of emphasize that. And I also wanted to show you can combine the two techniques of the flush and highlight to create an even richer flush if you want. And that's about that. You don't have to do these on separate layers. <laughs> I just showed both layers at once. So yeah, that's how to blush in Photoshop. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for stopping by. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.